Nintendo of America's Reggie fils has finally been asked about streaming in regards to streaming video games on the Nintendo Switch outside of Japan. And his answer to an interview with Kotaku uh, is quite interesting and I think mirrors a lot of the concerns some people have, although when pointed out that some of these concerns don't seem to really be prevalent as much as Reggie made them out to be. Um, he also had an interesting point there. So first, let's talk about why uh, streaming for you know things like Assassin's Creed Odyssey on Switch is only happening in Japan and not here in the United States. And he said this, it's specific to Japan because of the internet infrastructure that exists in that country. Very high speed wireless capability. The ability to have a great experience in Japan is profound. The technical infrastructure doesn't exist for that to happen currently here in the United States. Now, again, I did mention that, you know, he was pressed a little bit further about how other companies in America seem to be making video game streaming services, how it seems to be working. And, uh, you know, there was like direct reference to Google's Project Stream, which I am actually a member of and able to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey literally right now on my Chrome web browser, even just like using my phone to as, as an Internet access point through 4G LTE. Uh, and he basically said that, you know, this isn't viable for anyone who's serious about gaming. Here, here's Reggie fils response. If you talk to really active gamers, there's a level of dissatisfaction because of lag and other things that happen currently. The question is, at what point will there be the technical infrastructure for that to be a truly compelling experience? Now, I find this interesting because... I've uh, talked to a lot of people who have played Assassin's Creed Odyssey um, through Project, you know, Google Project Stream, um, which is through the web browser. I've talked to at least, you know, two dozen people, and I know that's a small use case, but they're just the people I happen to know that have played um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey in this method. And we all have different internet connections. Some of us have DSL, some have cable. So one, one, of the, one of the people I talked to had fiber for crying out loud, so obviously that wasn't an issue, but. I felt like um, I, I felt like it was interesting the responses I got because basically all of them said it plays very very well. The only strange thing, of course, was you know how you have to get the controller to work. Basically, you have to like unplug the controller and then plug it in like while the game's booting up. It's really weird to make it recognize like a, a proper PC controller, and that doesn't always work. And that's some, something that needs to be ironed out. And is one of the feedback I actually gave to Google that they need to figure out a way where. We don't have to mess with anything, and it just picks up the controllers we already have plugged in to the platform. But that's, you know, that's, I guess, neither here nor there. That's something Google will sort out on their end and probably wouldn't be an issue for Switch since, you know, like the Joy-Cons are, are right there. They're part of the system. So my thing is... I understand the concern over game streaming. Um, Reggie fils doesn't address, obviously, the primary concern people have, and that is that game streaming will replace physical games because, obviously, even with game streaming where it is at now, it hasn't really been that thing that replaces, you know, physical games. And this is important because Furukawa recently brought up in their investors Q&A that, like, yeah, he actually thinks game streaming is a viable future for games on Switch that might not be able to run on it as is due to certain limitations. He didn't come right out and say due to hardware limitations, but honestly, we know that's probably the primary reason. Uh, I think it's interesting, though, because all the conversations I've had with people who have played this through Google Project Stream think is perfectly fine um you know there's obviously latency issues that might might make something like say call of duty you know black ops 4 might not be something that's necessarily viable here in the united states heck i don't even know if that would be viable to stream in japan because of latency and, and lag and all that stuff but assassin's creed odyssey is perfectly playable and i see no reason that assassin's creed odyssey if i could play it in my google browser i can't play it on my switch um and he doesn't address the fact that even though the infrastructure, you know, might not be as good as Japan, there's still millions of us here in the United States, especially in the city areas where a majority of like the populace lives in the United States, that clearly have the internet speeds to run something like this. There's a large enough chunk of audience, probably 150 million plus strong, that could probably run these games on their internet through their Switch. So I, I find it interesting that that's the reason given. Obviously, again, we're not talking about the multiplayer stuff that might be um, a little more off-putting. Although I do think 
uh, something like uh, you know Black Ops 4's Blackout mode, which is like their battle royale, would have a better time running. Uh, I don't think it'd be as bad. Fortnite mostly runs on servers too, but I, I think that Nintendo Reggie Fusion is underselling is basically what I think it is. Nintendo doesn't have any plans to enable this in the United States anytime soon. I would be surprised if we're able to stream games on the Switch in the United States anytime during this current Switch's generation, which is probably at least another three years on the market, possibly four. Uh, and this is not including the fact that like the next generation of Switch, if there is one, um, you know, isn't fully backwards compatible and keeping, you know, this Switch currently relevant for eight years or ten years, etc. But I, I do think that uh, he's underselling it a little bit. And I think he's doing that just because there's no plans. Uh, so, ultimately, I'm kind of left a little disappointed because I was hoping that he would say, you know, Nintendo's open to all possibilities uh, instead of saying, hey, we're just waiting for the infrastructure to get better in the United States when, I mean, uh, the infrastructure is not really improving in the United States. I mean, yeah, fiber internet is kind of spidering out and spreading, but it's spreading to areas that already have fast enough internet to do game streaming as it is through cable internet. So, I and, and in fact, your 4G LTE phone speeds are actually more than capable enough for the speeds, and a lot of people have that. A lot more people have that that have cable internet. So, I, I just think it's a very interesting uh, point that he brings up. There's no denying that Japan has really, really fast internet, really good infrastructure, and basically you have a free Wi-Fi connection everywhere in that country. The United States is never going to be at that level. We're too big of a country. Uh, we're too spread out. There's no way in heck we're going to have that free Wi-Fi everywhere that maybe he's looking for to make these games playable literally all over the country like it is in Japan. But I don't know, man. I, I find myself... Um, I mean, a let down a bit that he's basically saying it's not going to happen. Uh, and some of you guys are probably feeling relieved that it's not going to happen. But reality is, I mean, as relieved as you are, we're not playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Resident Evil 7 on Switch right now because, you know, Reggie fils and Nintendo of America have this stance that it's just not feasible right now in America. And I applaud him saying that, you know, he, if you if you talk to really active gamers, there's a level of dissatisfaction. Um the level of dissatisfaction with Google Project Stream is actually pretty low. Uh, the level of dissatisfaction would come into play with multiplayer games, especially local multiplayer games. I don't think the level of dissatisfaction is there for the single-player experiences at all, which was what Assassin's Creed Odyssey was or is. So, yeah, I don't know. You guys give me your thought on this. You know, We've talked about streaming a few times here because Nintendo is actively doing it. There's other companies releasing streaming services. I actually live-streamed myself playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey over uh, Google Project Stream, and all you guys watching came away highly impressed at the responsiveness from when you saw me push buttons on camera to when you saw actions on screen. Uh, for you guys, it was almost, you know, exactly one-to-one. -one. For me, I could feel, you know, you know, 15-ish, 20-ish milliseconds of lag, but that's well within acceptable ranges for gaming. Like, that's pretty much what it feels like using a wireless controller on a TV. So it really wasn't that bad. Obviously not as good as, like, the 5MS or under I get when I play local PC games. But, I mean, different technologies and all that stuff. So, I don't know. Um, I think we're more ready than Reggie fils uh, is is willing to admit. But uh, Nintendo clearly has no plans. So, I guess uh, the reality is we're not going to have to worry about game streaming from Nintendo uh, anytime soon. And, uh... I think it's kind of a bummer, but for some of you, I'm sure you're excited that it seems like Nintendo's taking a stance against game streaming. Well, they're not really against it. They're just like, U.S. isn't ready. Feels weird. You know, we, we're supposedly a first world country, aren't we? <laughs> I know. We, we do have internet infrastructure issues in the U.S. I'm not... Because of greed, who knows if it ever gets solved. Anyways, I'm Nathaniel Rovajans from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video... Hit that like button. If you dislike it, that's right. Hit that dislike button. Uh, let me know what you thought about Reggie. Do you think he's right? Do you think maybe he's underselling uh, like I do? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.